when Chelsea host Manchester United this evening, it is the final chance for the new FA Cup rules to kick into effect. This season, for the first time, quarterfinals will not go to replace. Over the weekend, all ties were on inside the 90 minutes. It means if the scores are level at Stamford Bridge, a game will go to extra time and potentially penalties at the stage in the tournament for the first time in the history of FA Cup. In addition, both teams will also receive an additional substitution if it does. With Jose Mourinho dealing with an injury crisis, that means he has no strikers available for tonight's tie. He might opt for some defensive tactics that increase the prospectus of extra time. But who would that suit best? We have looked at both Chelsea and Manchester United's recent history when it comes to games that went beyond 90 minutes in a bid to discover if they thrive under the pressure or bottle it when it matters. Louis van Gaal's side were beaten 3-1 on penalties by Middlesbrough in the League Cup. When Rudy Michael Carrick and Ashley Young failed to convert, Adri Perry, currently out on loan, was the only one who did. The FA Cup final against Crystal Palace was won. 2-1 after extra time with G.C. Lingard scoring the vital goal. Manchester United record since 2011, own one lost four matches. Already this season, Chelsea have played extra time and it turned out alright. After drawing 2-2 with Leicester in the League Cup, Arces Farregas double saw them through. Chelsea were beaten 5-4 on penalties by Stroke in the League Cup last season. A 19th minute equalizer from Loic Remy forced the game beyond the 90 minutes. But the Blues couldn't finish the job. Eden Hazard missed the final spot kick.